Welcome back to another video. <laughs> we're packed up, and nope, we're not going to Mexico. We're going on another adventure. Picture yourself a mountain man in the middle of nowhere, and you're fighting the grizzly bears and the the moose. The moose, they're dangerous, I've heard. But uh, no, for reals. We're going on a little journey. I want to show you doing here for the last oh month or so. We've been working on this home. We're getting it ready, folks. We're starting to paint it. We got all the windows in, and we're going to be moving that to its land that we bought for this home. Once we move this mobile home off its lot, we can sell this mobile home. Doing a lot of work on this property. The initial investment was $18,000 some years back when you could find some deals on the market. And we're, we're shooting for about 450 to 500,000. That's what we're hoping to achieve when we sell both of these lots. That was the 18,000 with the initial investment. We had to buy another acre, had to renovate both homes. It's time for a vacation. So that's what we're gonna do. We're heading up into the mountains, but it's not really a vacation. You gotta stick around to see what that's all about. <laughs> Let's get on the road. Now we're going up to this property that I bought sight unseen three years ago. And we got it on an online auction for $12,000, folks. What a gonga deal that was. And that's what we're heading up to. But there's a, a little prize, a little surprise waiting for us there. This is the surprise. I bought this trailer. This is it. We bought this trailer from our neighbor and there's our property. It's gotta go over there. So let's do it. Well, this is it. This is inside of it. They paid 1500 bucks for this place and uh, we came here early to do some cleaning because it's it's kind of dirty, but $1,500. You can see there's a, uh, yeah, there's some varmints living here. Some mouse poop, definitely some mouse poop. And the roof is in great shape, look at this. It's in, it's it's a nice little home, Reed. I'm, I, the more I look at it, the, I, I'm definitely digging it. it even has a stereo. A Kenwood there. That's cool. It's not near as bad as I thought. I really thought it was going to be worse to clean. There's definitely mucho, mucho. There's definitely a lot of raton caca. That's for sure. But we'll clean it up. I like this too. There's another little closet there. So there's big closet space, Rita. I know this is dirty and there's a lot of rat poop in here. There's no doubt about that, but look how there's a lot of closet space. Oh boy. It's just because it's not level. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start getting this thing set up. And the next time we come in, we have to have masks on while we're cleaning. So this is going over there. Right there. I'm happy. <laughs> Man, check it out, my house. 1500 bucks. You're gonna show me how it's done? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, let's hope. We're trying to get this back in here, folks. We're trying. She says she can do it. I'm sure she can. I hope.
Uh, uh, good morning. I'm gonna show you where we're at. Ugh. What are you doing to me, me? Huh? Well, we had to set up our tent here. We did get the trailer here last yesterday, <laughs> but we didn't get finished cleaning it. The trailer's here. We're about ready to back the truck up and start throwing garbage out here. There's the bed that was in here. And uh, yeah, we're cleaning. Still got rat poop everywhere, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then check this out. Yeah, looks like they were having fun in here. Let's see. All right, let's move this truck back here and start throwing stuff away. But what a blessing. That is a cool trailer. Happy to have it. We just have to evict the rodents out of there, all the rats. I'm going to show you how fast I can get down to the creek Oops. to go fishing. See the camper behind me. Literally, there it is. That fast. I'm not kidding. You. Is that crazy or what? It is that quick, folks. Look. Do you see the creek down there? Wow, it looks really enticing. This is the third year that I've come to my our land out here in the White Mountains. I bought it three years ago, sight unseen, at a government auction. I'm going to show you that right now. At least the government auction I'm going to show you. And uh, it's the third year. We bought that uh, little travel trailer and we have been working our tushes off for literally six days now. And uh, we're, we're trying, I thought I seen a spear point. I wanna show you something. I, I found an arrowhead here, just down the creek, the first time I came down here to go fishing. Guys, I cannot believe what I just found. Can you see it? Can you see what I just found? Incredible, I cannot believe this. Look at what I just found. Incredible. I, I have not found an arrowhead in so many years. It, it's broken, a little piece of it's broken right at the end. You see it? Right here, this, these pe this piece is broken off. It's after that and I've never found any signs of one since, but I'm really grateful I found one. Isn't this beautiful? This is my backyard. That is nasty. Look at this. What do you expect for 1500 bucks?
I'm going to pull the carpet off of this fifth piece here. We've only seen a couple dead mice, mice so far. So maybe maybe they're dead. All right, we're we're still working here. Look at this this bed is it it's it, now, but there was rat poop from one end to the other end of this. You think you can scrub all that rat poop off? This was a great idea. This was Rita's idea to bring all the cushions to the car wash and wash them here. And these cushions, the reason why we decided to keep them is the fabric, the interior of the fabric is rubber. So the cushions themselves are not even getting wet right now. Just the outside material is, the material on the outside. So I think these are salvageable. We don't get this in Tucson, not very much. So this is our house. Come on vacation to work. This 55 gallon bucket, we fill up with water and then we use this electric pump to pump it into the buckets to clean and here soon we'll pump it into the RV's tanks and here's our solar generator. The Blue Eddy 3000 watt inverter. I want to show you this place we just stopped. This is Cedar Canyon here. We're out of the pine trees, but there's pine trees probably at the bottom of this canyon. Oh yeah, you can see them. Look how beautiful this is. Whoa, look at that. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous.
And you see this right here? This is the tip of a pine tree. You know how large that pine tree must be? It's just sheer cliff right here. Well, there you have it.